Hey everyone, before I get started with the next video, I just wanted to quickly ask that if you like the content, uh, please think about subscribing and that'll help support me so that I can uh, keep making these kind of cool videos. All right, thanks, on with the video. What's up YouTube? So today I'm gonna to make a cosmetic change to the bike. Uh, you can see on the frame here that I removed the warning stickers. You can see they're right on those two sections of frame. And then over here, there were two on that longer, wider bar. And uh, I think the bike looks a lot better without it. They're mostly, you know, warnings about compliance for emissions, exhaust sound, that kind of thing. So anyway, today we're going to make a change to the gas tank. So the stock sticker that's on here, you can see it's, it's a Ducati. It's sort of glossy. You can almost see my reflection in it. And you can see on the, the matte tank, I mean, it definitely blends in. It's got kind of that stealth look. But it's a little bit too understated for me. And uh, I want to kind of personalize the bike a little bit, make it look a little more like mine. So I bought these. So these are uh, retro Ducati logos. I got them on Etsy. Um, I'll link to the store in the description. I believe it's the Escobar company. And anyway, I got uh, four white ones and four gold ones. And they, uh, they're really well made. They're, they're high quality vinyl. And I'm going to pop these these old ones off and we're gonna see if I want to go with white or gold. I'm leaning gold at this point so I'm gonna pull the bike outside, get a hair dryer out, get the tank cleaned off, remove those things and uh, then we'll put them on. So uh, let's go do it. All right, so I've got the bike pulled outside. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. One, I get good lighting. But two, black paint, when it sits out in the sun, it warms up quite a bit. I've got a hair dryer here that I'm gonna use to heat things up to uh, loosen the adhesive. And uh, we're gonna start pulling those off. So let's see how that goes. So you may be wondering, how do you go about actually pulling these off? Because clearly with, with matte paint, I don't want to scratch or ruin any of the finish. Um, even if you had gloss paint, it'd be about the same thing. Um, Pardon my squinting, it's very bright out here. Uh, it's overcast, but the sun's poking through a little bit. Um, so anyway, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you heat things up as much as you can. That warms up the adhesive, it, it releases the bonding a little bit. And I've got a couple different tools here that are gonna help me. So I've got two different sets of tweezers. One is a very fine point. I mean, these I got these on Amazon. I think the two together were like $10. And then the other one, is more of a flat blade for gripping. And you can see that one, uh, that'll be good for once I get to the edge of something, I can pull it off. But then a really handy thing that I found is these. These are those flosser sticks that you can use for your teeth. Um, the ends on these, this plastic is very pliable, it's bendable, it's not hard. Um, the trick is these tweezers don't touch the paint at all. I'm only gonna use those as I'm pulling off pieces these are gonna be what I can kind of sneak along the edge, rub back and forth a little bit, and it won't harm the finish on the bike. Some people can use a fingernail. Uh, I don't have really long nails, so I'm not gonna try that. Um, though that may help on like pulling an edge up a little bit. So let's get heating and then uh, we'll see how it goes. I was just thinking a little bit about if I wanted to put painter's tape along the bottom of these to get a very level finish, because then I can put my new stickers on top of that. But I actually think I wanna have my new stickers down just a little bit from that edge, um, because they're slightly bigger than the stock ones. So I'm just gonna do it myself, so we'll see. So I don't know if you can see, so let me zoom in a little bit. Ah, so I don't know if you can really see, but right here I was able to use the end of this, and just sort of tease this up a little bit. You can see that it's just the littlest bit lifting it up. Now, you should be able to use the edge of a finger to pull that sticker. Like so. 
Obviously there's a little bit of residue, so I'm gonna get the rest off and then we'll clean that. And there's a couple of things to keep in mind with that, so uh, we'll get to it. It is three. Notice these are all coming off in one piece. Um, and then all you do is you go slow, you don't try to pull real hard at a sharp angle, and kind of work it your way along whatever's near what's already lifted. Um, and it's pretty easy. These are actually coming off a lot easier than I thought, considering. So this bike's a 2012. It's 2020 right now. So those stickers have been on there for eight years. I thought they would be a little more well attached. Um, but the plus side is that they're not, so it makes it a little easier. And there's actually not a lot of residue either. So I'll try to show a little bit closer what I'm doing here. So I'm pressing the edge just the littlest bit, like so. This is tricky to do while holding the camera and trying to have it roughly centered. So that edge is pulled up, so I'm using the tweezers. just to grab that edge so the tweezers aren't touching the bike at all but you can see as I'm working my way around get a new grip easy all right last letter let's hair dry it a little bit All right, so. Get a little better grip. And I'm not pulling hard, I'm just pulling it off gently i kind of working my way around. You can see there's little bits of residue, which is to be expected. All right, so that's it. I've pulled off one whole side of stickers. All right, so we're gonna do the other side of the bike. Now, probably some of you are wondering why change your logos? The bike looks great as is. Is there any benefit to doing that other than aesthetics? The really complicated answer is no, it's just for aesthetics. I like making things my own. Um, just a little bit different than anybody else's so that it, at a glance I'll know that this is my bike if I'm parked next to a bunch of others. I feel like bikes um, and cars also are an extension of yourself. And it says a lot about who you are and what you prioritize. I wasn't sure how easy this would be, which is why I brought extra of the... Uh, teeth cleaners and extra of the uh, different tweezers but I mean look at this these are coming right off nice and easy now some of you may be wondering how how did you decide to do this and weren't you scared of messing up the bike or what if you don't get the, fo the stickers even well part of it is I got a bunch of stickers so if I don't get them even I can go and do more I've got uh, four whole sets um, so I have four tries, two, are two sets are gold, two sets are white. Um, but then really the, the first, I'm not as nervous about this bike because I did it on my last bike and it went really well and I was very happy with the results. I'll post a photo so you guys can see it. Um, and then on this bike, this one wasn't bought new. This is bought used. Obviously if you've seen any of the other videos, it sat for a while, it's been pretty dirty and trying to make the bike uh, cleaner and, and getting it fixed up you can definitely see there's there's little scuffs here and there you know the bike's not in perfect shape uh, cosmetically just because it sat for a long time but overall the bike is in really decent shape but I'm not totally worried the paint has some flaws in it there's some little scuffs there's some little stains there's little spots on it so what am I hurting by changing the sticker so that, that's kind of my mindset on this stuff and we're on the last letter here. So this literally has taken about 10 minutes to do for both sides, so not bad. All right, so the whole thing came out to these 
couple little crinkly, it looks like electrical tape. And I'm done with the applying tool. All right, so you can still tell where the stickers were. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So you can see there's some residue still. You can see both sides are, are done. There's a little residue on this one. So now the next, next step is to clean that and get it uh, looking nice and clean before I put the next set of stickers on. All right, so the next step is to clean the stickers off the bike, uh, all the residue from them. And there are a couple different ways to do it and a few things to keep in mind. One of the big things is if you want to clean them off well, you can't have residue from cleaners or solvents, as well as you don't want to have residue from the old stickers because that's probably broken down a little bit. The problem is sticker residue doesn't come off real easily. Um, if you use a little bit of water and a rag, you're not going to get it. Um, paper towels aren't going to do a lot of good. So there are a couple things I'm going to do. One is I am going to use a solvent to get it off, but then I'm going to clean and let the bike dry to get those solvents off completely. So first I've got an old t-shirt here. Get a set of scissors. I'm just going to basically cut the sleeve off. If we need more, we'll get more. And we're going to use one of the best tools that you can have, WD-40. This stuff actually will dis dissolve that stuff easily. But WD-40, this will actually dissolve the bonding and the you know, the chemicals in the adhesive. This, you know, is a pretty soft, it's a brand new t-shirt that hasn't been used for anything. And I'll be able to just, you know, with just a little bit of light pressure, all the adhesive is going to come off. So let's go do it. All right. So we're back at the bike. I've got my WD-40, I've got my rag, and you can see there's still some adhesive here. Now you might think, oh, I'll just spray some on. You never want to do that. You're going to get over spray. You're going to get it all over everything. So I take the rag, you're going to just put a little bit on, so just like that. So just, just the littlest spot, and then just lightly start rubbing on here, and already I can see it's breaking it down. You don't want to press really hard, especially on a bike like this that has uh, matte finish, because um, you don't want to wear that away. I don't know if that's possible but I'm not gonna take any chances. It's gonna take a little while because it's gotta break down so that WD-40 needs to work its way into each of the letters and each of the little like pile up of old adhesive. But already it's probably about halfway gone. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, something like that, and I'm, I'm getting there. It's going slow. Uh, you could certainly use something more abrasive than a t-shirt, um, but then you risk harming the paint. Um, I'm literally just sitting here spraying it on here. I did get some overspray. I stood up at, a, at one point <laughs> and sprayed this and some overspray ended up on the tank. So that's why the top's shiny now and it's working. It's just going slow. So I'll come back once it's done so you guys don't have to wait. All right. So I, uh, it's been about another 10 minutes and finally this side is clean. Let me bring this down. You can't see any sign of the old stickers. I mean, it's like a mirrored finish. Uh, certainly, I've got more residue on there than I intended. Um, well, more WD-40 on there than I intended. But, I mean, it had to come off, so what do you do? So, uh, I'm going to do the other side, and then uh, we'll work about getting the WD-40 residue off so that we can put the new stickers on. All right, so probably another 15, 20 minutes, and it is all the residue appears to be gone on both sides you can still tell where the ducati sticker was because the finish of the paint that was under the sticker is a little different than the rest of the bike but now we're going to go and get the uh, wd-40 residue off so that we can uh, put the new stickers on first step is a dry shop towel we want to try to soak up any of that solvent that we can you can see already the shine is going away compared to before. Oh, this side's a little worse because of that overspray. And the towel, well, you can't really tell, but the towel is absorbing a fair bit. 
The second step is to use the hair dryer again to try and uh, evaporate any further solvent. So I'm just gonna do it for a minute or two. So the last thing is you want soapy water. So you may or may not know that WD-40 stands for water displacement. So it means you can see where there's just water, it beads up right away. But you add a little soap to it, soap that basically removes and dissolves oils, and you're getting rid of the WD-40. Of course, I'm gonna have to rinse this down with water to get the soap off, but then we will actually have a clean bike or a clean area for the stickers. So we're using a lot of soap. This is just normal dish soap that repels oil. All right, now to rinse it off. All right, so I already did one pass with a rag, but basically fresh water and a dry towel. And now it's drying with no residue. Now we have no residue. You can see where the old sticker used to be. You can see the finish on the paint. I don't know if I can get that to focus. You can see the finish on the paint. It's definitely better under where the stickers were. The stickers protected it. But what can you do? All right, time to put the, sticker, the new stickers on. All right, so we're getting close to doing the stickers. I got a guide from the company that sent me this. You can pause to see what it has to say. But basically, we clean the bike, we get press the sticker with a plastic squeegee of some kind. My wife has a Cricut, so this thing, it's about the same consistency as a credit card. It has a little flex to it, but we want the sticker to stick to the backing. So we're gonna press against the backing just to make sure we get a real clean adhesion. And you basically wanna use the the flat part for the pressure, not the edge, because you don't want to put stress on the actual material. You just want pressure. So we're pressing it in. Don't have to do it a lot. I'll do one more pass here. All right, so the sticker, and that, what that's for is, so once you apply the decal, the sticker actually sticks to the backing, so you can pull the, the bottom part off, apply it, and then this top level layer stays on for a little while, so. Let's go put them on. So I'm back out here ready to apply the stickers and you can see there's no sign of that oily residue from before, which that's what we were hoping to get rid of from the WD-40. So we're in good shape. You t definitely can see how the, the old logos definitely still appear, but they're gonna be mostly underneath the new ones and over time that paint will get the same finish as all the other paints. I'm not too worried. Two quick points I wanted to make before I put the sticker. Um, one, you definitely should wash your hands with soap and water if you touch any WD-40. I was using a rag. I did get a little bit on my hands. You want to wash that off as quickly as you can. So quick point there. The second is that on the bottom of these stickers, I guess I'll hold it the right way. On the bottom of these stickers, I noticed that they weren't completely even, that the letters, there was a little more white paper underneath the D than there was on the I and vice versa. So I took a straight edge in my garage measured out down the same amount and then took a, a razor and cut it completely straight. Um, and that's so when you're putting it on the bike, you actually have a, a way of knowing uh, if, the, if the decal is straight. So um, just a point to mention. So grab my squeegee, do a ballpark idea of where I want it. I want it to be about where the last D started. And I'm gonna roughly follow this line of the tank and uh, we're gonna put it on. So I've already pressed it. So we're gonna pull the backing off and hopefully the letters will stick to the backing. So you do it slowly, like so. Be careful not to touch the, the actual adhesive on the stickers. So that came off nice and easy. Grab one corner. Grab the other corner. Get a rough idea of where you want to be. And honestly, like, unless you're going crazy, doing it by eye is just fine. So you press it on light first. It's a curved tank, so you want to start on the bottom probably or, or the top and then work over it slowly with your finger. 
Make sure that that line seems pretty darn even. And to my eye, it does. So we take the squeegee. We're going to press. We're going to press. We're going to go up and down. Really spend time focusing on the corners and the edges because that's what would pry up first if there's any anything catches on it. And then you go horizontal back and forth like so. And now the non-fun part, we gotta wait. Uh, the instructions said 24 hours. I'm gonna give it an hour or two. Um, you can wait, let it wait up to 24 hours and that's for best bonding. I'm not particularly worried. I've got a couple extra sets of stickers. Um, and in my past experience, I've had no issue with it after that, but just for, for point of warning. So I'm gonna do the other side as well. All right, so we've got both sides done. I think this is gonna look pretty good on the bike. The gold's probably gonna match the forks in the top of the engine case. So you can get a rough idea of what it will look like, but we're gonna have to wait a little while. I also noticed when I took off all my frame stickers, I didn't take off this ugly thing, which is like peeling up. So I'm gonna do that now while I wait. All right, so it's been a little while. Uh, it's actually been about four hours. I was uh, able to do some other things at home while I let it sit. And so the sticker's been on there for a while and uh, we're gonna pull it off and kind of see how it looks. So uh, let's do it. All right, so there isn't much of a strategy for this, and I'm gonna just do it slowly. And you wanna kinda of pull a, a diagonal angle, um, and that'll just make sure that it's not gonna pull flat against the whole edge of any of the individual sections, and that way it's less likely to pull off. So, get my thumbnail, just a little bit on the corner here. All right, so here's the unveiling. Oh, that looks good. And see, so we're going nice and slow. We're not pulling like this, we're pulling more up so that it separates easily. Oh, that looks great. I'm really happy with that. And there it is. So you can see how it looks. You still can sort of see the paint underneath for um, from the old stickers, but let me see if I can get this to focus. But like from this distance, you can't can't see it at all. And doesn't that look good? All right, so let's do the other side. Got my spot lamp there that I was trying to use for better lighting. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start on the, the eye side. Um, I think just cause there's a little bit extra l relief of this white paper. All right, so we're, same thing. We're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna pull up and away. And wow, that looks incredible. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Look at that. Let's focus in on the bike. I'm getting a little washed out from the light, but oh yeah, you can see the gold in, in that angle. Now let me play around with the light a little bit. Oh man, doesn't that look good? So there you have it. Uh, that's how you put new logos on a bike. I like the kind of retro look and guaranteed, you know, even though right now you can kind of see the old Ducati logo underneath, that's just the paint that was protected by the old logo. Guaranteed a couple track days, wash the bike a few times, that paint is going to get the same finish as all the rest of the bike. And then you're just going to see the new gold logo. So, oh, that looks awesome. Very cool. All right. So I'm pretty pumped with how that looks. Uh, that looks... Pretty darn good if I say so myself.
All right, well, hey, thanks for watching. Um, keep in mind that my next couple of videos, I'm going to be doing a mix of the How to Track Day videos. Um, one of the next ones is going to be the track suit uh, with the back protector. Uh, the next step will be gloves and gauntlets. Uh, last will be helmets. And then I'm going to do all the, all the prep stuff. So uh, what tools do you need in your toolbox? What do I bring to the track? How you load up your vehicle? I mean, literally the whole thing. I want, I want anyone watching this, if they have been thinking about doing a track day, I want them to feel comfortable doing it um, because it is so much fun. And it's something that I really think everyone who is into bikes and is thinking about maybe doing one or they like the idea, but it seems a little intimidating. That's what I want them to, to see, that this is easy. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It's a safe environment. It's actually the best way to really experience your bike. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.